Okay guys, so this is the Mantis Exotic Sniper Rifle. It's based on the Kova SRS. And this is one of the exotics out of two tied to the next seasonal progression. Um, it's really, really cool. It's got a lot of uh, synergy with the TAC-50, um, both how they work when scoped in. So the TAC-50 actually you know, highlights enemy weak points. This does a very, very similar thing. And it's got a really, really cool talent that um, is tied to the decoy skill. So if you're, um, if you're a rifle player on console and you use the decoy a lot, this is actually a really, really good combination for you as well. And um, yeah, I'll then go into the build as well. And then followed on from that, we'll go into the gameplay. So let's get into the build. Okay, so as the build follows, exactly the same as the build from the... Uh, Ravenous video, Hollow Man Mask, Perfect Glass Cannon, a new brand set piece for weapon damage, Fox's Prayer, Contract Gloves, and per uh, Perfect Vigilance. Now, again, depending on your shade level, how much offensive stats you've got, the more damage you are going to produce with this weapon. And, you know, it is capable of one shotting in the dark zone. Um, I did see EK do it in one of his videos. So the talent is as follows, in plain sight. Your scoped view displays additional information about enemies not targeting you. Headshots and weak points damage against enemies not targeting you amplified by 50%. Headshot kills reset the cooldown of the decoy skill. This bonus will wait until decoy goes on cooldown if already active. Now in the gameplay you will see as soon as the decoy skill disappears, as long as I've hit headshot and killed, I've automatically got it back. It's like an instant cooldown and you just keep throwing it out. Um, so like in a squad, if you're playing with your mates, it's probably one of those really, really cool um, sort of combinations to use. Um, again, for example, like if the NPC aggression changes and stuff like that happen, and that dial a little bit back on legendaries or heroics um you know it's gonna be a little bit better and you know if you play a lot of heroic with uh, directors on you know when you zoomed in with the scope uh the way it displays the target information is there's a little like circle uh Aura, like a target mark around uh, every NPC's head when you scoped in and I only noticed this when you took all the armor off an NPC the weak point then exposes um, on their heads with the easiest way to explain it until you see it in the gameplay is the you know like in the movie Predator when the Predator's uh, targeting you with his upside down triangle it's like that but as a circle um, but yeah, but you'll see that in the video. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and there will be more Division PTS videos coming. Uh, there's still um, other talents that are, four more talents that are dropping in this PTS to test out. Uh, still another gear set, another uh, ex exotic, and you know still many many other things so subscribe to the channel and i'll bring you everything that i possibly can and any additional changes that happen when phase two drops so that's me done enjoy the gameplay
generating additional hostile contacts.